In this video, I will take you on a journey behind the scenes of my latest artwork. This time, the iconic fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld. Hello everybody, my name is Ovidiu and I'm a recycled magazine collage artist. I started with the digital simulation of the portrait and then worked my way through the actual creation process from sketching and painting to collage and adding the final quotes. Along the way, I will share some of the challenges I faced and the insights I gained into the art of creating anti-portraits. So, if you're interested in learning more about my work or if you're just curious about how I create these unique artworks, then stick around. A few years ago, I tried to create this Karl Lagerfeld collage with no face, but it was a total disaster. I failed so badly that I gave up on the whole idea. Luckily, this concept of anti-portraits kept coming back in my mind. It really was a voice in my head that was keep telling me I can't give up on this idea. So, a few months ago, I decided to give it another try. Scared that I would fail again, I just had to do a lot of digital sketches. I liked the results and I decided to give it another try on real canvas with real recycled magazines. At first, I did Frida and I was super enthusiastic about the result. It's crazy how one failure can get you out of the track, but maybe it was just a lesson I had to learn. Not to give up on ideas just because one failure. Now, getting back to our time, I had to take the bull by the horns and try to do the anti-portrait of Karl Lagerfeld once again. As I mentioned, I started by creating digital simulations of the portrait. This gave me a chance to experiment with different composition and colors and to get a sense of how the final artwork would look. I did not document this process, but if you're interested in how I do my digital simulations, let me know in the comments and I will make a tutorial for the next one. I would also like to share with you a quick sneak peek of some other simulations I already did for my next artworks. If you have any thoughts on these digital sketches, I would really appreciate to hear from you. Now, back to Karl Lagerfeld. Once I was happy with the design, I started working on the actual artwork. The first step was to sketch out the portrait on the canvas. I used a pencil at first, but then switched to a permanent marker, a thin permanent marker, to redraw all the lines. I do this on every artwork, just because the glue can erase the pencil lines. Next, I painted the background in acrylics. I chose pink because it was one of Karl Lagerfeld's favorite colors. I'm based on black and white, uh -huh. but there's a certain kind of pink I love, even for men. I used a soft brush and the matte paint to create a smooth finish. Previously, I used to collage the background as well, but I feel like the acrylic background creates more depth to the artwork and really pops out the portrait. Once the background was dry, I started adding collage elements. I started the actual collage work with the sunglasses, which for me was the most difficult part. I mean, it's not very hard, but I have to be very careful not to get any glue on the top of the paper or it would show some white marks. Just a quick note, the glue leaves white light marks on the black paper and I personally don't like that. I drew some curved lines with acrylic markers to add some more depth to the composition. This way, I have an intermediate layer between the background and the portrait. I continued adding collage elements, working my way through the face, suit, shirt and then his hair. I used a variety of magazine papers, including only black and white and grey. I felt that this was the proper way to represent Karl's portrait. In this case, I chose to go with grey on his face just because of his white hair. Usually I go for white on the faces, but this time I had to make a little adjustment. I also added some marker sketches to create some kind of shadows on his face.
One of the challenges I faced was creating the white shirt. The paper I first used was a thick one and the water in the glue made it curl up. I eventually solved this problem by using different type of paper and using smaller pieces. For the hair, I decided to add some parts of big letters with different fonts to create some difference between the shirt and his hair. And I did not use small text because from the distance you might see it as gray and I wanted to make sure you can clearly see the difference between the face and his hair. The last step was to add some quotes. I chose a few quotes by Karl Lagerfeld that I found truly inspiring. Don't dress to kill, dress to survive. I am a working class person working with class. I am totally myself. I'm not crazy to discuss fashion with men. I couldn't care less about their opinion. Now, this next one I really like as I can resonate with it. I never look at my watch when I'm sketching. Black and white always look modern, whatever that word means. What I love best in life is new starts. The reason I added these quotes is uh, to be a reminder that my anti-portraits do not represent the person itself, but rather the influence that he had on our culture and society. So that's the story of how I created my last anti-portrait. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you find it inspiring. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more art tutorials. And please keep in mind that sometimes one failure can be only a step forward. Stay creative and see you on the next one.